Hello, dear friends. This is Ladare from Ladare Patreon at patreon.com slash Ladare and also from Ladare.com, my main site. I want to tell you about this podcast, which I struggled with like never before, and it was very hard for me to complete it, to post it, etc. And here's why. I recorded the original Princess Kate and British Royal Scandals the multidimensional view podcast on March 21st, 2024. Today is April 9th, 2024. And what happens is we just had a solar North node eclipse in Aries. So that's the new moon eclipse and the new moon in Aries. And a uh, lot of things are happening. It's like pretty much explosions everywhere in the world that were happening two weeks prior to this eclipse. We had another eclipse two weeks ago, which was the full moon eclipse. And so it's all revolving around these eclipses, which influence a lot. So on the 22nd of March, which was uh, around the time of the previous eclipse, the full moon eclipse, which denotes endings, and all kinds of uh, things that are coming to the surface. And I was editing this um, uh, podcast and I decided to make it public for everybody and to be posted on the 23rd. And the 22nd was the day when the news of the tragic events, tragic um, terrorist attack at the Moscow Crocus City Hall came, came in and over 40 uh, 140 people died there, including 15 children. It was extremely tragic. It was unheard of event that shook everybody and everything paled in comparison. So what I was doing at the time, I was posting very actively on my Patreon and you will just see that um, I continued recording. I recorded on the 21st of three different episodes of podcasts, one of them being about France, Macron, NATO invasion of Ukraine and Armenia heist. Then the, another one I recorded later was the Baltimore bridge collapse, uh, the, where I discussed different situations. And uh, also I published uh, the 10 key super predictions by Ladre, everyone must know, and mega shifts that are happening right now then will Michelle Obama run Trump's legal troubles and election inverted dismantling predictions? All this I was publishing around that time. And of course, I focused a lot on the Moscow Terror Act, where I see deeper conclusions. A lot of people tuned into those posts on my Patreon. And so everything else paled in comparison, including what was happening in the UK, what was happening with Kate. Then the news of Kate's cancer came out. I postponed the podcast, initially thinking uh, it unimportant at the time. Then I listened to what I said before the cancer news and realized it was part prophetic, where I talk about her illness being a lot more serious than portrayed by the royals and by the, the UK government. And in part, it was revealing the truth, where I discussed the extreme um, royal urge to deceive the public and the UK governments to deceive the public and pull the wool over people's eyes. And of course, I also talk about the inverted collapse and my predictions for the UK in that specific episode. But I will say more later about that. The multidimensional predictions of the inverted collapse are also very telling as is the hint about Putin and Russian elections. So don't miss that. Uh, that's in the second part. Um, but I also talk about the doctor picture from my point of view and what might have happened to Kate, which I think even if you saw the news about the doctored picture, you might still want to review that because I have my own views on that as a woman and also as somebody who follows this stuff multidimensionally. Of course, like anyone, I feel sorry for Kate and her condition and wish her a speedy recovery for herself and her children's sake. I also said that in the original podcast at the very end. It's hard to be a mother of three. Whoever you are, princess, um, multi-millionaire, billionaire, whatnot, as uh, you'll also hear me say, 
at the conclusion of the original podcast. I'll also say that, that uh, Kate is loved and much supported by her public, which is helpful for her, for her recovery. So she has much support. A lot of people say lay off of Kate, uh, stop harassing her, let her recover, let her be in peace. And that I very much respect. I totally agree with that. That was one of the main reasons I did not want to post the original podcast to begin with. I kind of felt uncomfortable encroaching on a person's um, privacy when they were in such um, a pain already, you know, in such bad condition. Something was definitely going on. I sensed that. That was the reason I was postponing and postponing that podcast. The reason I'm posting it is not because I want to encroach on her privacy. She deserves it just like anybody else in the world. However, that said, she did sign up to be a completely 100% public figure. That's how royals work in the UK. And she seems to relish that role. She seemed to have relished that role. Now there could be a different story, which I will tell you in this original podcast, what might be going on behind the scenes and there will be another podcast. So um, this is also not about her per se. It's about the UK royals and the UK government manipulation, which is coming out. And it gradually comes out here and there. And it's about the inverted collapse. That's why it's coming out. That's currently unfolding. And this is why all these things are coming out one by one. So inverted collapse per my 2014 predictions uh, is developing right now. And so without further ado, watch the first episode. See you there. Hello, dear friends. I'm continuing the marathon of several podcasts that I'm recording all at once, guys. And today is March 21st of 2024. Let me go into the topic of this one. See, I usually do not follow anything to do with the royal British family and all those gossips and all that stuff. You know, I try to avoid looking into that. But even though my subscriptions on YouTube and elsewhere, things that I usually look at, they're completely not about that topic. You know what I follow. I mean, this is totally not what I even look at. But even my YouTube uh, subscription uh, timeline kept being inundated with what happened to Kate Middleton, what uh, is the royal family hiding, conspiracy theories, what really happened, three most plausible scenarios, and blah, 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 lots of things. And so I finally decided, because everybody seems to be talking about it, I finally decided to look into that and to put my own stamp on it, to weigh in on it uh, the way I can. And what I'm doing here is I'm talking about it from the multidimensional perspective. So multidimensional view, higher dimensional view, my stamp on what is happening there. So I did research, I watched a number of videos and looked into various scenarios. I actually looked at those pictures that people say have been doctored. And I really, really uh, spent like several hours of my time, literally looking into all this researching. And I formed a full picture for myself of what really happened, the timeline of events and what's behind it. And so this is the topic, my multidimensional view on the Kate Middleton situation and the British royal crisis. Well, uh, there is a lot to talk about here. Let's try to summarize and we'll go from there. So what we are, uh, what we have is um, the uh, scandal involving uh, several, at least two, doctor uh, photos. Photos that were doctored according, not just uh, according to amateur photographers and various lay people who were indignant that something is being sold to them that was not true, but also the press, the British press. When British press issued uh, a so-called kill order on the photograph of uh, Kate and her three children smiling together, practically like, you know, ecstatically smiling together, 
and that only happens when the picture is deemed unfit for publication because of excessive manipulation, excessive doctoring, to which seemingly Kate issued a statement in which uh, basically an apology in which she said that, oh, um, sorry, I'm an amateur photographer and I got a little carried away um, basically retouching the picture and only the hand there is uh, wrong. Everything else is correct in that picture. It was really not doctored. However, I looked into everything, into what people are pointing out and I did find well, I'm not as good. My eye is not as good as those who are professional photographers who really know how to look at shadow versus light, etc. So I didn't even bother with those because multiple issues were pointed out in that picture. But I found confirmation for me, like very inexperienced amateur photographer, three things were really sticking out to me out of the many that were pointed out that were wrong in that picture, three or even four things. I will tell you later what those things are. And each of them is enough to convince you that um, something is wrong with that picture, that it actually could not have been um, done the way uh, the family said it was done. So it could not have uh, taken by William. It couldn't have happened in the beginning of the spring, etc., etc., etc. It couldn't be that all those people were together in that picture. So um, too many issues there. But I will tell you later what those issues are. So three or four issues I uh, confirmed for myself that do not make any sense in that picture. Now, the next issue was uh, the absence Kate's absence for three months. And that also um, rose too many red flags, rang too many alarm bells, because that never happened before. It's not just like people said, oh, she's absent for three months. Um, now we, we know they're hiding something from us. No, it was simply out of character. Kate never was absent for that long from the scene. And I will tell you a little bit later what that entails. So basically what happens is that she was absent for three months. Meantime, her general appearances were very regular and she would appear maybe not that frequently in public, but very regularly. And um, like, for example, she, w she had three children and according to people who followed that stuff, and I got this information from somebody else's videos but that video presented pictures and uh, i do not follow I'm, I'm saying again i do not follow myself all that stuff but the fact that um, many many people got indignant and suspicious of the circumstances speaks volumes because what people say is that previously say um she uh, she would just like birth a child and the very next day in 24 hours after such an ordeal anybody who has a child at least one knows what it takes to go through the birthing process and you're not yourself after 24 hours you can't just like put makeup on slap makeup on dress up and show up with that baby in public and there are pictures that show her 24 hours later in public with makeup on, etc., you know, looking good with the baby. Okay, so that was within her character. Being absent for three months and um, uh, rescheduling or canceling many public appearances at once, many. It's not just one or two. It's like St. Patrick's Day. Uh, everything until April is canceled, including um, her appearance during Easter, St. Patrick's Day, etc., etc. So basically, uh, things that are very important for the nation, things that were always done in her presence, either William does by himself, and people don't like it, by the way, everybody was indignant, he was not uh, uh, nice to the public, he was not social enough, which is understandable. If his wife is um, ailing, of course, he is preoccupied, uh, as a good husband should be. We'll talk about William later. He may not be as good of a husband, or something is happening behind the scenes but between in him and Kate. That's another possibility that people are discussing, that not all is well in paradise, that there is uh, he had an affair, that he was unfaithful, and that he she 
is uh, basically might be even divorcing him. So there are all kinds of uh, conspiracy theories here. One based on the pictures that it cannot be her. And uh, another picture was when she is sitting in the car with her mother. And it's a very grainy picture taken from a huge distance, apparently huge zoom. And a lot of people say her face looks too round, too big, that her face is actually slimmer than that as a rule. But okay, even that can happen, that face can kind of sort of blow up a little bit because, hey, God knows what kind of drugs she's on, what kind of uh, recovery protocol, maybe it is water retention, who knows. Um, then, uh, so that's one uh, theory. Another one, absence for three months, as I mentioned, then of Another theory is that, in fact, uh, she is divorcing William because she, he's been unfaith unfaithful and possibly there is, uh, somebody even said that he um, is violent and beats her up. And maybe that's why she was in the hospital, even that people name as a reason. Uh, yet another reason, see, there are lots of these reasons and conspiracy theories. Yet another reason is she got sick and tired of uh, being this royal toy basically and she started rebelling that she doesn't want to go uh, with protocol anymore and there people immediately start drawing parallels between her and princess diana how diana was thrown under the bus and so uh, it appears to some people that now kate is being thrown under the bus here and, and parallels are very significant here because um, she is the princess of wales and diana was the princess of wales married to unfaithful prince that's where the people start making connections because rumors have been circulating that perhaps uh, he was unfaith unfaithful to her even last year like over a year ago there are rumors circulating of william not being faithful to her in the meantime she is home with three children and um, uh, in addition to that there is something that people are whispering about about Meghan Markle's curse I'm not even going to go into that part okay um, that's something we will mention Princess Harry later just as a side, a side note but we're not going to go into curses what I want to focus on is number one what uh, is convincing me the doctored images so I'm going to name quickly please find that image online it's uh, where um, she is in the center hugging her three children like her older son is above hugging her from behind and two younger children on each of her sides and they all hug each other and there is like a green lawn in the background supposedly the picture was taken very recently so it's the end of winter maybe beginning of spring and sure in England you can find green grass even sometimes in the winter but that grass looks too green and there are green leaves on the little tree or bush behind them it looks too green and also looks too bright and of in England, you really have very overcast weather during colder months. You know, everybody knows that, the whole world knows that, right? So it looks too green and too bright. Um, well, okay, maybe it was retouched, that picture. Maybe it was bright, and that's possible. Still, it looks a bit too green behind them. So that's number one issue for me with that picture. Number two issue. <laughs> uh, number two issue uh, everybody noticed that her hand and even she apologized for that so one of her hands uh, first of all doesn't have a ring on it so even she um, said that uh, she actually doctored that specific hand uh, she, but she said that's the only issue uh, meantime people uh, actually noticed other issues so the hand does not have a ring on it another thing if you look very carefully that hand where her daughter is on the side that her daughter is i believe that's the left hand uh if you look carefully there there is like a, a artifact of another sleeve it's like a plaid sleeve as if she's wearing a plaid jacket or a plaid sweater meantime you look at kate herself in that picture and the, she's wearing a dark blue sweater there is more issue with that dark blue sweater and i'm going to discuss it in a minute but we'll get to that very very soon stay tuned uh, so the dark blue sweater meantime the artifact on the hand there's there's um 
a little bit visible is actually a completely different outfit. So that hand definitely did not belong in that location. It came from God knows where. Plus uh, no ring. What happened there? So um, another issue, um, there, there are some other issues with, uh, say, the hair, how the light falls on the hair, how they match or don't match. But a really huge issue for me was something that somebody pointed out, and that's not obvious to most people. It took me several minutes to actually compare two pictures. So uh, this guy, he showed uh, comparison pictures from something that happened in October 2023. They were in some kind of charity event or something where they were donating clothes or something like that to the needy. And um, this charity organization or charity events, all three children together with Kate are photographed and you can see their outfits. And what is strange, the outfits are the exact same style that the outfits in that doctor image, supposedly picture taken by William in the beginning of March or thereabouts. What I mean by style is that, uh, say Kate wears a sweater that has the same exact color, mock turtleneck kind of color that expanded, kind of hanging a little bit. The girl, the, the little princess, she wears the um, blouse that has this like high, uh, also mock turtleneck with ruffles on it and it's exact same ruffles that in that uh, October picture and the boys they're in different positions in that picture but the same exact uh, style outfits the boys wear the same exact style sweaters with the same um, plaid um, shirts that um, colors are sticking out so the same exact all four wear the same exact style the difference the only difference is they're different colors like for example Kate was wearing white now she's wearing dark blue uh, but exact same sweater. The girl was wearing terracotta color little blouse with the, those little ruffles by her neck and now she's wearing dark red and the boy was wearing like light colored um, shirt color and now it's uh, blue uh, colored shirt etc etc so things like that but i compared it took me several minutes the exact same style so it's very improbable that all four would be wear wearing the exact same style and you you might say oh well you know maybe she bought multiples in different colors of the same clothes uh, yes but if you're a woman you will understand that you will not dress again all three children and yourself exactly in the same in the same type of outfit for another photo up okay it, because as a woman you remember these things you understand to mix it up plus you hardly would ever uh, buy multiples in different colors sure it happens but um she is a princess she has an opportunity and she's like a style icon in the uk they constantly discuss her styles oh princess uh, kate uh, bought this how much did she pay for that outfit this out go around discussing it and again discussing it over and over again they're basically obsessed with her and her style so it's, it's very very hard to imagine not just like repeating the same style but also all four of them in the same exact style but different colors so that convinced me completely that that picture was uh, entirely doctored uh, so that's uh, that in other words something is uh, wrong here and that's why wide uh, public everybody for from journalists to uh, bloggers to just lay people said wait a minute wait a minute something is wrong here and her absence which was very out of character for such a long time so when updates from her are appearing they seem to be very strange updates too like nothing happened but really uh, she's not seen then uh, there was something i didn't even look into that as if she went shopping for food um also very unclear situation what that was about i don't know exactly the details but people question even that now um so there are conspiracy theories she might be dead or she might be divorcing William, or she just rebelled like Princess Di 
and decided to basically sabotage her appearances etc that she got enough of that i uh, can see how all three possibilities are correct i don't think she is dead i don't think that but uh, i think she is alive but something is very serious going on behind the scenes she may be a lot more sick then um, they are portraying it to be. That's number one. Number two, she may be sick and tired of the royal family and having to play this royal toy, um, kind of like on display kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm thinking actually is that also it is possible that they're trying to conceal the situation behind the scenes, that there is a rift within the household royal household as they call it uh, also it is um we also know that king charles is uh, has had an operation and uh, he has testicular problem and either testicular or similar cancer and they said um, the operation was successful everything is good therefore don't worry about him uh, it could be his house is uh, a lot more serious than it actually is but also realize that always 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 the royal scandals, royals, uh, royals being discussed, and they are, uh, um, you know, about their fashions, about what's happening in the royal family, even health, always uh, was used as a cover for what's really happening behind the scenes. In other words, the um, crisis in the country, economic crisis, political crisis, perhaps, uh, and also the wars to distract people from wars, war in the Middle East, war in Ukraine, and what they might be pulling, what kind of wool they might be pulling over people's uh, eyes. And, uh, say, for example, they will while people look the other way, uh, supply more arms, lethal, lethal, very bad arms to Ukraine. Or they might be overspending now and uh, changing budgets behind the scenes to produce more weapons in the UK. All this is true. Also, they, of course, they need to distract people from Putin's landslide victory and how well Russia is doing. They absolutely have to do that. So they use all kinds of methods. They use lies. They use um, falsifications of elections. They keep yelling and screaming, which we expected, that elections in Russia are fraudulent, etc. Well, I proved to you through what people write in comments. I posted that gigantic report, which I translated piece by piece of people's comments from all over the world. What people say i posted videos so you can see all this what what really goes on how enthusiastic people are how pro-putin people are all over the world and that includes in the west which the west actually doesn't want to admit they're still in shock about the results of russian elections they can stomach and they cannot process through their minds what happened why multi-kilometer uh, lines everywhere why did people queue in like this all over the world uh, why such turnout why did russians rally like this they cannot understand it they were sold a completely different story but by navalny followers that russians are ready to do away with putin instead this was a referendum which was uh, returned a stellar yes to putin uh, where people all over not just Russia, but all over the world, said, absolutely, we want Putin. <laughs> uh, okay, so they need to distract people's attention. So all this might also be a camouflage scenario to distract people so they look the other way. Okay, all these royal scandals that we're um, talking about right now. And, and there are other scandals, like I talk about the um, influx of migrants into the U.S., including now Haiti migrants, and that's another thing to distract people from real issues, real problems in the U.S., U.K., and generally in the West uh, with NATO, with Olympics, by the way, um, distract people from how successful Russian games were and will be again uh, during the summer and uh, in September. All these are techniques also to distract people. So let's be realistic here, guys. So that's my multidimensional view. Now, I'm going to tell you very quickly that one of the things people talk about is that Kate might have the Crohn's disease 
or a reproductive organs disease, which is why they say abdominal surgery. But of course, they lie it was pre-planned abdominal surgery because if it was pre-planned, why did you have to cancel so many appearances? Either the condition was a lot more serious than they originally thought because those things were pre-planned a long time ago. So she wouldn't have planned to be at the St. Patrick's Day, Easter parade, etc., etc., all those January and February events, if she had the pre-planned surgery. So that's definitely a lie. And uh, um, condition, they do not specify what really happened. She might still be recovering, etc. What drew my attention right away, energetically, not just physically, was that... Uh, she appears to be in pain a lot, Kate. You know, that's uh, psychically, I perceive that. And she just grins and bears, which is basically the uh, British way of doing things, the stiff upper lip, you know. And uh, this could, uh, she could have neglected herself even. And that's very possible with three children and everything. Um, but she was kind of plump when she was young, okay? And then she suddenly lost a lot of weight and she was on a specific diet to get married before the wedding. And she suddenly became extremely, extremely thin. So there is some sort of connection here, guys. I see a psychic connection between how she suddenly go, got so thin uh, and uh, how she maintains things, this thinness. It appears that she oftentimes was... Um, on a, on a very strict diet, or me, even, even on fasting, like it could be medicinal fasting. To me, her being on this um, extremely thin suddenly after marrying or right before marrying William, as opposed to her being kind of on the plump side, like she, she wasn't thin at all when she was younger. Uh, so that also to me speaks volumes how she continues being so thin she is 42 so in at 42 you can still be very thin that's very possible but it's possible that you also pay with your health to stay that thin basically dieting yourself into oblivion um, so all this to me is very very suspect here another thing uh, also could be a distraction, but uh, you probably guys heard about Prince Harry, that he might lose his uh, ability to live in the U.S., he might be kicked out of the U.S., and say Trump already said that when he's president, he will kick him out of the U.S. because some inconsistencies were found with his visa. Supposedly, he lied on his visa, or his visa is even missing, like the document is actually missing. So there is some sort of inconsistency there. And again, they're all talking about this book, uh, Spare, and they say that uh, it's, it's a broke everybody's heart in the royal family, etc. So, um, but on the other hand, if uh, Kate actually is um, pretty much being a, being a rebel right now and saying that she will not appear at these events. She would not do that monkey job anymore the way they want her to do it if she is in some sort of um, uh, conflict with uh, her husband and the royal family. That actually confirms what Harry and Meghan were saying all along and what they were saying in the book. It may be true what they described there. I did not read the book Spare, okay, but uh, it uh, evolves around the royal family. They um, uh, display to the whole world a lot of these dirty royal secrets, that un dirty underbelly of the royal family, and they say that it was impossible to live there with the, all their rules, restrictions, and uh, it was very brutal. And uh, we know that Diana, uh, felt the same way. That's why she rebelled. So if Kate is in this situation, it's possible she's rebelling too. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and what I also want to say is that Harry and Meghan, Meghan Markle, are some of the harbingers of the inverted collapse. And what is happening with Kate um, Middleton is also a symptom of the inverted collapse as it refers to the UK, but the entire Western world, because British monarchy is such a huge institution in the um, 
entire West, for the entire West, especially Anglo-American world. So this is important, guys. Ta-da! I'm closing this with this important overview, which is multidimensional overview, the earth shifting overview. See, uh, remember I said that in every situation, the earth shift would manifest differently with every country. It will manifest differently. Inverted collapse manifests differently for every single country. So for the UK, it manifests this way. That's not the only way, but this is a very visible way because what was royal family all these years is like something they display, something they're very proud of, something that is an institution for the entire Anglo-American world, something to look up to, you know, see how great they are, their fashions, their behaviors, their how they, um, you know, the yummy they look, right, supposedly, right? And Kate was always so pretty, her big dazzling smile and so that is a symptom of the inverted collapse, all these scandals. And uh, Harry and Meghan are harbingers of the inverted collapse uh, of the UK system as it existed before. So this is not by accident that is happening right now. And guys, you can expect more scandals with the royal family. I think I predicted that already in 2021 or 22 when Harry and Meghan scandals started emerging and then the Queen died. Um, I already said that back then I'm confirming that there should be more scandals. Do you, do you remember I predicted these things, guys, in the previous years uh, when um, um, Queen was dying and before that Harry and Meghan scandal? So what happens is that we should expect more scandals. We should expect more of this. And Kate's situation now confirms my old uh, prediction about that. Um, there will be more coming. So what was happening with Diana now will be multiplied one way or another. Even if they reign in Kate and she again starts smiling, appearing like nothing happened, uh, more scandals will appear later. So that's what I will com conclude with. Oh yes, uh, before we go, uh, you probably have heard that uh, there was a scandal at the clinic. It's called the London Clinic. It's a very privileged place where Kate was for 14 days. Incidentally, people say that that's too long to stay in the clinic for recovery for 14 days after the operation. Usually people don't stay that long nowadays and they prefer to stay home where it's more comfortable. And for some days she stayed there that long, which also indicates either a very severe condition, much more severe than they are um, trying to tell us it is, or something went wrong otherwise, and she's just hiding from the world. Um, so this uh, London clinic, it just came under fire, and it might even not survive the new scandal. And the scandal is uh, that three employees uh, of the clinic have just been suspended because they tried to steal Kate's records, and apparently they wanted to leak them to the press to sell to the highest bidder and make a killing on that. But they are playing it down, saying they're not involving police, saying that, that there is internal investigation into what happened there, and um, they're trying to find the probable cause. Before that, they will not involve the police, although the whole world understands why those employees try to gain access and steal Kate's records to make it public what really happened to her because uh, in England everybody is obsessed with Kate and want to know and demand to know what really was going on there but of course all that is um, a patient privilege and they cannot disclose those records. So it uh, reflects very badly on the London Clinic which is the clinic for the privileged and the rich. Uh, so they might even go under, some people say. I don't know if that's the case. That's why they're trying to keep that scandal uh, scandal under wraps. Bottom line, what we have here, I'm repeating again because that's very, very important to understand. This is um, a symptom of the inverted collapse, just a Harry and Meghan story and the scandal with Harry being expelled from the U.S., etc., being under investigation for his visa, that's, um, that's a harbinger of the inverted collapse of the UK. And we should expect more scandals that involves the royal family. The royal family, as I predicted in previous years, will be crumbling little by little. Um, well, and that's notwithstanding with the fact that I feel sorry for Kate. I really feel sorry. The woman really, just like Princess Di before, uh, the pressure, the 
weight on her is an exorbitant, is a huge weight to carry not only three children, but also these demands that royal family places on her. And if it's actually true that William was unfaithful to her, he is repeating the same um, pattern as his um, father was uh, displaying when he was Prince uh, of Wales. Uh, and when he was pre pretty much in Diana's face, he was cohorting with Camilla. And of course, I will also say that uh, for Prince Charles, uh, I mean, King Charles currently, uh, Camilla is a much better mate than Diana ever was. They were going after pretty face, after somebody young and vibrant, and she was approved by the queen, and Camilla was shunned by the queen. But in reality, as a mate, as a um, partner, Camilla is ideal for Charles. Uh, she is extremely loyal to him. She is uh, staunchly supportive. She she doesn't do anything. She doesn't have any rebellion in her. She just wants to be with him, be the wife, be the queen, etc. And that's all she wants. Uh, and um, uh, with uh, Kate, I thought, and she was displaying all the characteristics uh, as if she was uh, Camilla number two, but a lot prettier. Uh, but apparently there is a lot more behind the scenes that goes on there. And as I said, I never followed this. I, I had just extremely superficial knowledge, but I spent several hours researching it. And so I'm reporting to you uh, the multidimensional view of what is going on there. And I will, guys, talk to you about other topics pretty soon. So stay tuned.